the side piece. But you already you know you're the side piece. Wow. So we already have that understanding. <sighs> Five hour energy. Don't put on for the cameras. See, this is what the side piece that's does. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> hold my hand in public. <laughs> Why you can't hold my hand? This is what the side Why piece does. Hold my hand when we go. D2! <laughs> yeah, we call him D2, but Daryl Woodson That's is That's what I'm government. known as. But, My name was um, changed to Daryl Woodson. Well, go ahead. <laughs> so I just wanted to talk a little bit about my first and I guess only race for the indoor 2017 uh, season. Yes. So we ran 336.88, right? Correct. Not necessarily what I was hoping for, um, but you know, all things considered, where training is, um, or I should say, the things that we've been doing in training, we kind of took our over distance a little longer than we usually haven't done much speed work. I was battling a sinus Ready, infection, so uh, yeah. Well, I think it was a good race, regardless. I uh, think we looked for not necessarily time, we weren't chasing the clock but just kind of getting an indicator or kind of where we could go from this point, a building point. And I think all in all, it was a decent aspect. 36 is a good time regardless. So since it wasn't a time emphasis, I think it gives us a plateau to build on. And that's that. We're going to be better next time. Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right. So we're back from the Milrose Games where I just ran my first race and 300 for the season. Um, tough evening out there for me but we're, we're gonna break it down a little bit talk about some things talk about how i felt what uh my consultant <laughs> saw out there as he was commentating mm -hmm. well what did i see i saw a natasha hastings who at this point last year had already run a couple races so you were a little sharper um and you'd done more sprinting mm -hmm. i know that because you would come to florida and we had sprinted you a little bit um, so I'm glad that you're not overreacting to this and that you are, or maybe you were, <laughs> um, because this is your first race of the year and to me you looked as, you know, the way you describe it to me and that is a little heavy, like you don't, you didn't have your gears. You were in, you know, you got maybe up to second gear and that was it. Okay. Yeah. So. Is that what you felt in the race? Um, I got out of the blocks and I felt, I felt quick out of the, the blocks. I did and I felt good. And then it was probably about 125, 130, I saw Shawnee go by me. At which point, that's the point where I'm like, stick to the race plan, don't get excited, don't get excited. And so I did my best to do that. My We talked about my, my relax point being that back stretch. And then going into the 200, or the final 100, I should say, that was where I wanted to make my move. Well, when I went to make my move, like you said. No gears. No gears. Mm -hmm. I had two gears. So it... um. Definitely just thinking about training and first of all that was the purpose of this race to see where my training is so as much as I would have liked to have run faster I have to keep in mind what the main thing is which as you said is this summer in London but um, you know if I think back on training yes we've been doing a ton of um, over distance and strength work and not necessarily raw speed, but speed endurance work. So that would explain why I didn't have the gears to finish as quickly as I would have liked to. Um, as a competitor, <laughs> it's hard not to hit that panic button. Yeah. Because um, yeah, when Shawnee went by you, I thought, <clears throat> good, go with her. And then I saw you kind of like, and the gears weren't there. And I went, okay, so this is going to be, it's going to be a, a, a rough evening at the armory for us. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where the importance of having coaches and dialogue comes in because as I was saying like I'm a competitor when I get out there I want to run fast I want to win, wanna win yeah. that that's end of story so I did have a moment where I was like what the f just being honest right. but I have to sit back and have this conversation 
think about where I am in training. I've been battling a sinus infection all week. I don't like to make excuses, which is why I still showed up today anyway, but I have to take all of those things into consideration. So, you know, keep the main thing the main thing. We'll go back to work on Monday and I'll live another day. That's a good attitude. <laughs> The wrong attitude would be to overreact over having lost a race at home in New York with all my people in the stands. And, and there are a lot of competitors that are going to do that tonight. But you're an experienced competitor. You're a mature competitor. So you understand that, look, not too high, not too low. Your indoor season was great last year, but it wasn't perfect. Mm -hmm. But when it counted, you were ready for the Olympic trials. You were ready for the Olympic Games. So big picture, London, making the team, 2017, you'll be fine. I guess we got to close on that. That was that was perfect. <laughs> so thank you guys for all of the support. Again, I have to give a shout out to New York. Did you hear how crazy that went for me when they announced it? Yes, it was almost like you used to run here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just, I, I can't say it enough. It's the feeling and like you said, there was that pressure of wanting to perform big at home. But I just love New York. So Thanks for watching and tune in. We'll be doing more stuff like this throughout the season and I hope you guys enjoy the journey.